are back with more Final Fantasy X-2. When we last left off, we went to the Thunder Plains and we talked to Sid, who finally apologized about the uh, Xanarkin incident. Then we found Leon and Aid, the two uh, Ronzo kids who left the mountain to try to find a way to fix Kimari's horn. Then we went to the Makalania Woods and found out that Owaka's travel agency was being infested by fiends from Makalania Temple, so we decided to help them help him out and got rid of all the fiends. And now he's going to try to reopen his travel agency, even after uh, he, uh, the person he's supposed to pay the, back, uh, the debt back to died. So we're getting... You need to go visit Owaka Shop in the lake, uh, by the way, you will. A huge shape deep within the lake. Yep. So now we're going to head off to our next area, which will be the Beaconel Desert. We got a request from help from Donati at the activation camp. Doesn't seem to be rushed though. Guess we can put it off though. We're going to take care of that now. So we're officially over 50% done with the game, guys. Hooray. We're getting there. We're getting there. Alright, so let's go talk. Let's head to, uh, Beacon Hill Desert and see what they need to do with us. Hey, there's Nadia right there. Boy, am I glad to see you. I need your help with something. Of course you do. Everybody fiends? needs your help. Not fiends. Cacti. Oh, really? Marnala of the Cactuar Nation has asked to see us. Okay. We've been too busy here to spare anybody. If it's not a problem, I'd like you to represent us. All right. What's the Cactuar Nation? Hmm. Don't worry if you haven't heard of it before. We've only recently established diplomatic ties. Cactuar. Benzo! This is our interpreter, Benzo. Uh huh. So you can understand Cacti? Very nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Hi. All right. You can take it from here. When will you ever learn to say no? Venus does some goody goody two shoe. So we gotta go talk to. Him. Uh, Cactuar? Yeah, this is a weird one. So let's head over here. Off to the Cactuar Nation this time. And it looks like she's taking a shine to you. So we're going to head to the Cactuar Nation to go talk to Marnala. Yeah, it's a bunch of Cactuar. A bunch of cactus that we got to talk to. It's kind of weird, but trust me on this. It's, it's weird. <laughs> but it's all right. All right, so let's go see what this Marno one needs. Yeah, it is. So, so maybe cat. Anyway? Right here. Here, where? Got this. Sure, this is the place. Got this. The girls are of so confused because it's a freaking cactus. And there's not a lot. We talked? <laughs> of course, Riku's like, why? What's going on? Uh. This is Marnala. Kind of. He says, I'll translate. Marnala's greeting us. Hello, Benza. She says, hello to you two steer hunters. I am Marnala of the Cactuar Nation. Okay. It does not surprise me that you are startled by the way she's smiling. We, the cactuar, the cactuar of this nation, were once cactuars. Oh god, cactuars. Y'all know cactuars if you're a fan of Final Fantasy. As a cactuar that's brought in the desert grow, they become cactuars. When the cactuars mature, mature, they once again become cacti. Okay. Their roots dig deep into the earth. Thus, we have watched over the sands of Beacon Desert since the dawn of time. So tell me, how, do you believe what I've told you? Uh, but he, he has to say that makes perfect sense so the story will not progress. She says, thank you. So now you gotta talk to Marnala. Again. I think Marnala's about to tell us why she called us here. A strange wind has been blowing through the desert, okay? You too may have felt the sands trembling beneath your feet. Huh? Yeah, maybe. A fearsome thing that rests beneath, deep beneath the earth has begun to stir. Yeah, uh, believe me, this thing is. Ow! 
show it off in chapter 5. I'm going to be a little bit more powerful. In the depths that gathers its strength, it will not be long before it makes its move. And when that time comes, it will bring wrath to bear. It will bring its wrath to bear upon the Kakarot Nation first. The reason it left for vengeance against us, it is we who locked away. But uh, it was we who locked it away beneath the dunes so very long ago. To be more precise, it was not us, but our ancestors who ruled this land in ages past. As need for retribution was surely needed here. We must summon the Great Haboob and prepare ourselves for the coming menace. Yeah, you'll find out about the Great Haboob too. <laughs> That's funny. Haboob. Only the cat is known as the Ten Gatekeepers can weave this magical barrier. But they are out training in every corner of Spear. I need, to help. I need your help to seek them out and bring them back. The cat mothers know where they have gone. There's no time in finding the Ten Gatekeepers and returning them to us. Okay? That's all she has to say. So that's our mission, but we don't. Uh, we can actually find six of them. The ten gatekeepers have ventured into the world, pro world proper to train. Round them up and bring them back to the Kakarot Nation. Think you can unravel the Kakarot Mother's clues and sniff them out? Find the ten gatekeepers. We can find six of them in Chapter 3, so we're not going to really worry about it too much in Chapter 3. We're going to uh, wait till Chapter 5 where we can find all ten of them at once. Let's talk to the first cat to our mother now. There's the first cat to our mother. I'll translate. I am Lavivia's La mother. Lavivia was supposed to head north from the oasis with his friends, but I haven't heard a thing from him since. I suppose Lavivia's always had a bit of a wanderlust. He's probably off wasting time in some good for nothing place this very moment. Call it motherly and That's the gist of it. So you have to translate all these clues to return back to. Uh, the, the, I said, we'll, we'll do all that in chapter 5 when we can get all five, 10 of them at once. I mean, technically, I can do all six. Uh, I can do six of the 10 right now, but uh, we can go back. Uh, we've only just begun to survey this area, okay? I want to leave this area. Can we leave? I want to leave. I want to leave. Can I leave, please? I want to leave. I want to leave. But that's really all we can do in chapter three right now. As for the beacon out there, I mean, we I said we can look for some more of the uh, fiends, but that's really all we can. I mean, uh, some of the ten gatekeepers, but that's really all we can do right now. Oh, there's our stupid uh, hover out of here. Uh, so, but we'll come back to chapter 5 and just do all 10 of them at once, so. At last, I thought she would never leave. Yeah, that's how we left. That's it for chapter, that's it for the Beacon Hill Desert for chapter 3. So now we got our next area to go hit up. We'll be back in a little while, Benzo. 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 Whatever, but, yeah, like I said, so. When we come back for chapter 5, we'll get all 10 of gatekeepers at once. And, uh, that way we won't have to worry about 6 and then 4 later. Cactus, I wonder, wonder where it could be. Uh, well, I know. Type and Cactus, spears a lot bigger than I thought. But we're going to head off to our next area. Which will be... The Calm Lands. Yeah, we know. We'll come back to it. Let's go ahead and just head to the uh, monster arena right now, just for one little bitty, th a little bitty thing. We can do a couple of things in here right now. All right, so yeah, the big reason why I came in here for is oh, there's Clasco. Hi, Clasco. Must be coming after all these Tokabos. Hi, Chocobo. Chocobo, 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 Chocobo. Where are you at, Chocobo? Chocobo. Chocobo. Alright, so we need to go call Clasco. Let's, uh, raise a Chocobo. Let's give him uh, 20 greens, and let's do this. 
a dispatch to Chumbo, or Chocobo, level 2 Chocobo, to be State Island. Make me proud, be a good Chocobo and don't run off. Dr. Chocobo steps off into the unknown. And plus we get him in here too because Spears, I mean, yeah, Shinra is installing calm Spears everywhere. It's kind of needed to make sure he installed the comm sphere. I need to make sure he installed it. I just gotta remember where, it, where it's at. Yay, took up a music. Oh, there it is. Yeah, let's see. We gotta make sure he installs this. Come on. Where you wanna install it at? Oh, you wanna install it right there. Comm sphere installation complete. Alright, so we gotta make sure he did that. Alright. So we're going to head back to the airship and head back to the Calm Lands. And, uh, take care of some stuff in the, uh, Calm Land property. So. Alright, so now we're going to head back to the Calm Lands. Mission 1. The stress from the cave down in the gorge. Shay, a faith needs to be down there. Maybe that has something to do with the temple fiends? Alright, but first things first, we're going to head off to, uh, the Calm Lands proper to take care of a few things. We'll come back here in a minute. Alright. So first things first, we're going to head to, uh, the tourist, uh, the travel agency in the middle of the Calm Lands so Shinra can, uh, install a comm sphere. All the comm spheres will make sense in Chapter 4. That's the bulk of Chapter 4 is evolving those comm spheres. Just trust me on that. Chapter 4 is going to be a really short chapter, so. But. I just got to make sure he installs all the comm spheres. So we're going to head off to the travel agency. To make sure he uh, installs the comm sphere. Ah, come on. I was, that's why I was not paying attention. I was looking at my guide real quick. Alright, so let's go install this comm sphere and, uh, and also let's go check out our, uh, publicity and marriage rating and uh, rankings and stuff. Ah, uh, do it. Okay, those watchers, you gotta keep an eye on these little en new enemies over here called watchers. Because they actually come in very handy. We need to make sure we get into as many of them as we can before chapter 5. Just trust me on this. Uh, a few of them off screen. I already hit a few of them off screen when I, uh. was doing some stuff off screen, so. Alright, we need to get, uh, Isuna. Alright, now... Alright, and, uh, Pain just learned to do the transmitting logs. See, that will come in handy for Chapter 5. Just trust me on this. Okay. Let's get rid of this, uh, off of, uh, Pain. Let's head to, uh, that travel agency. I, if I would have thought about that, I would have just done it from the monster arena, but, man, it is what it is. Oh, there's another, uh, Watcher. Cool. Vespa! Oh my god! That Vespa reminds me so much of, uh, PewDiePie. And he's like, Come on, Vespa! 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 You know what? Escape. 
Just in case something happened. That sucked. <laughs> that really sucked. Alright. Let's get to, uh... Alright, let's check out this thing first. Since we're at... Here already, did we head to the travel agency? Argent. Uh, how's our publicity doing? How am I doing? We're at level four, so we're almost there already. We need to get to level five. So we're getting close. Yay. Let's get to this travel agency now. Travel agency. Where are you at, travel agency? Ah, right up here. Oh my god, what is this? This is called a admin toy. This thing's got some HP to it. So we're gonna escape. Okay, I really wanna feel, deal with something right now that has about 8,000 HP right now. Maybe in a little bit. <laughs> but, yeah, that kind of stuff. Alright, is this where the, uh,. Yeah, travel agency. We got Shinra. Oh, see, see, there goes Shinra. It's, it's all in that. You got an interest in my son up to 255. Can't say I know what that means, but keep uh, keep at it for me, uh, if not for my son. Let's see. Once the compound is solved, I think I'll try out the games myself. All right, you do that. All right, so now we're going to head back to. Uh, I didn't say go that way. Yeah, we know. Alright, so now we're going to head back to the Calm Lands one more time. Let's go check up on the uh, that uh, truck boat we sent out real quick. See how that went. If uh, he's back yet. If not, then we'll just head to the... Uh, Alright, he's still out. Okay. Probably won't be until a couple more videos when we can check that out. Because, uh, releasing the Chocobos is actually going to come in very handy for Chapter 5. And, uh, because one of the things we got to do, which I will probably do off-screen, it'll probably take a couple of days to do, is, uh, for Chapter 5, release 5 Level 1 Chocobos, 5 Level 2 Chocobos, 5 Level 3 Chocobos, four ch 5 Level 4s, and 5 Level 5s, and they get all back safe and sound. So, yeah, there's a lot of chokebos to deal with, so we're going to have to, I'll probably be doing that off screen. Let's see what we got here. Open air was all set to kick off the new attraction Cavern Crawler. You should see the crowd they drew. Then fiends started appearing out of nowhere. Some of the visitors are still trapped inside. Fiends, come deep in the cave. So, yeah, remember still we had a ca inside. stolen faith down here. There's nothing we uh, and he, so yeah, we remember all the fiends born inside the temples. This honest, is uh, Yojimbo. Wanted to blame them for turning a place like this into a tourist attraction. But it's not the time to do that. Please, won't you help us rescue the people left behind? No. All right. So, all right. Yeah, we'll help. You are most kind. Your friendly neighborhood gold wings open for business. And there's our new mission. But we're going to stop here, and when we come back, we'll do this mission and try to rescue the tourists who didn't make it out of the cave. They hold the key to unlocking its secrets. Save the tourists from the fiends. But we'll do that on the next video, guys. When we come back, we'll, uh... Yeah, let's leave the mission for now. When we come back, we'll, uh, enter the cavern of the Stolen Faith, where Yojimbo used to reside at, and, uh take it, uh, see what we can do about rescuing all the tourists. And there's 15 tourists we can rescue in this. And we're going to pound getting all of them. So y'all have a good day. We'll see y'all next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy X-2. This is DKS3A, the Crazy Gamer. Signing out.